Hey guys, as promised, I am going to open this and <laughs> it's probably the most expensive, uh, I call these blister packs. What do you guys call them? Leave me a comment. I always assume these are called blister packs and then we're gonna go ahead and open it. So here we go. And opening is not a big deal because I've always liked the experience. So this card will have the same value to me as so I believe these are pretty common, to be honest with you. So we got Ugins, Khans, and Dragons of Tarkir. And we get the actual card out. And the card is a little bent. So it's very, it's kind of bent. Um, it looks like this. It doesn't have the promo in the front. And doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, it's not like they took it out. So there is the Stocking Tiger. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. I'm not sure why I would give this away, but maybe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open these packs. I guess we'll do Fate Reforged first. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, oh, so it says Friday Night Magic. I'm pretty sure the people who are making this are actually somehow connected to Wizards of the Coast. Oh, wow. Uh, we have a foil. It is red. We are in Fate Reforged. I don't know of any good rate red cards in Fate Reforged. Douse and Gloom. Let me move this down a little lower. Bave and Dragonfire. Lightning Shrieker. This card's pretty good. Dragon. Okay, Outpost Seeds. This is not a bad card. And Rage Form. So, and then no uh, Fetch Land. I don't know, this is not bad. This was uh, not bad. Will we make back our $45? I don't know. I don't think so. But, so... As time passes, this card is becoming more and more common. I don't know how common it is. Khans of Tarkir would be nice to get a fetch land. I have not pulled a fetch land in a long time, and I've opened a lot of cons. Khans of Tarkir, not a bad speculation in my opinion. Palace. Hardened Scales is worth some money. <laughs> this card is an interesting speculation. It is seeing play in modern. In allies modern too, yeah, so... Dragons of Tarkir. We are looking for Foil Coco. Yeah, Foil Coco would be good, but I'm not positive if that's likely. Dragons of Tarkir. What's in Dragons of Tarkir now that I think about it? I don't know. What's valuable in the set? They pretty much reprinted all the valuable cards in Triumph is pretty good. Behemoth. And Dragon Lord Prerogative, so not the best card. So very interesting cards, actually. And the Stocking Tiger, which is the whole reason I purchased this for $45. $45, was it worth it? Yeah, I think I would pay $45 for this again. And I, I really had fun opening it. It's kind of a unique card and it's a unique experience uh, opening a Target pack where the card itself, at least... The non-misprinted card itself is worth $36. So it's not a bad deal for $45. Bucks. Um, $36 buy now is not too bad. So that's it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't pull a Fetchland or anything too crazy, but I, I like hardened scales. It is an interesting speculation, which uh, maybe I'll discuss at a later time. Bye, guys.